So there it was, a dead lawyer. So you know it's a happy story. <laughs> How much talent does it take to take a number of words that have nothing to do with each other? <laughs> Put them on a page in any particular order you want and then give it to someone to read and they read it and they say, whoa, 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 what the hell does that mean? <laughs> he made me put my hand on the Bible and swear to God at nine years old that I wouldn't drink liquor anymore. <laughs> he made me put my hand on the Bible and swear to God I wouldn't smoke anymore. Why, he even made me put my hand on the Bible and swear to God that I wouldn't, and this was confusing, swear to God. I said, hell yes. <laughs> and the mayor, he got all excited. He said, run for it. What are you out of your mind? He said, that's a bobcat. That is the fastest cat in the world, Mr. Clemens. You cannot outrun a bobcat. And this is when I explained to the mayor life and politics as I understand it. I turned to our short, pudgy mayor. <laughs> and I said, I don't have to outrun the bobcat. <laughs> Just you. Ladies and gentlemen, what Dubuque needs is new industry. I got up and said, hell, why don't you open up a plaque factory? <laughs> it's a secret society, and these tricks were passed on from generation to generation. Only he knew. But I saw him one day, one of his best tricks. Just before the funeral would start, he'd turn just slightly, reach up and pull a hair out of his nose, which would cause him to cry. And people just assumed he was crying over the deceased. <laughs> but tragedy hit one year, he'd go bald in his left nostril. <laughs>